Hi, I'm Tim Whitehead, Executive Director of Galcom International Canada. Wonderful. So for those people who don't know, what is Galcom International? Well, what we do is we go around the world building radio stations for pastors and missionaries in some of the most remote areas you can imagine, Greenland, Indonesia, islands up in the mountains, wherever, so that the few missionaries and pastors out there can reach more people. And then we make little solar power, there's the solar panel, solar powered radios and audio Bibles that they can distribute out in the communities so they can multiply themselves. So if they're going you know, to villages in the, in the Andes and they're not going to be back there for six months, they've left behind a witness for Christ. Wow, that's amazing. I had no idea. Um, how long have you guys been a ministry? Like how long has this been going for? Yeah, this is our 32nd year of operations. Wow. Wow, that's amazing, especially like those really remote places. Um, how many how many spots do you have in the world? We have worked in 130 different countries. So that includes putting in about 160, about 170 radio stations and distributing about a million and a half, almost now a million and three quarters of these little solar powered radios. Wow, I am speechless. Like, that is so amazing. And you guys are based out of Canada? That's the home base? That is, yep. So in Hamilton, Ontario, uh, there's about 20 of us on staff. And then these little radios are built mostly by volunteers. So we have folks coming in from the local churches and, and people that have got to know the ministry, and they come in and give us a day a week and, you know, solder the speakers onto the circuit boards and put it all together and we get them shipped out. That's amazing. So with those little, uh, I don't even, I'm sorry, I forget the term for them. So, well, actually this, I haven't even told you, this one we call the impacts. So it's a radio and audio Bible together and it multiplies a missionary's impact. So big impacts, big capital X on the end for that multiplication factor. I love it. And so uh, what is all contained on there? And it, so it's an audio Bible? Like, well, yeah, what is it? Okay, so when we first started, it was just simply a radio, a simple little FM radio that a local missionary could use. And then we started doing AM radio for larger areas and then even shortwave radio, because there's parts of the world where a missionary can't go into, but you can get someone that might be able to, you know, creatively get a little radio in and all of the radios are fixed tuned to the Christian station. So you can't change the dial and listen to something else. It's locked on exclusive listening to the gospel. And then about 10 years or so ago, uh, with SD cards and all the memory chips and iPods coming out, the technology caught up with our dreams and we were able to put full Bibles in the local languages onto the same device. And so uh, we work in partnership with Wycliffe and the different Bible societies and uh, Ethnos Mission that does the Bible translation. They're gracious enough to share with us their content. And where there's area where there isn't an audio Bible or even a Bible translated, we work with groups like um, uh, Power to Change or, or Campus Crusade that have done the Jesus film. We get the audio version of that. Or Global Recordings has all sorts of different little gospel messages in different indigenous languages. So we got all these partnerships for the content and whatever we can, we put onto that player so someone can listen to the live radio and then hit a little button and then listen to the pre-recorded messages in their mother tongue. Simply amazing, like teamwork to share the gospel. I love that. Come yeah, everything. Everything we do is in partnership. So our little part is the, is the hardware, the device. And then we get the content from the other mission agencies. And then we're partnering with the local pastor missionary on the ground. So we're partnering with three to 400 different pastors or agencies all around the world. Wow. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that today. I really appreciate that. Enjoy that. You guys are going to be set up at Mission Fest this weekend. We are. We got our reps uh, that are coming in from out west. They're going to cover off there. It's actually Kevin and Lynn Baker. Kevin's a tower climber. So you know, a lot of people think of missions as I got to be a Bible translator or an evangelist. Kevin's job is climbing radio towers, hanging antennas and, and, and doing all that kind of hard stuff. And so we want to meet people that have always thought, you know, I, I'm not a Bible scholar. I can't be a missionary false. You can absolutely serve God with the gifts and abilities you have. And so that's that's what we want to bring to Mission Fest, opportunities for people to serve in missions. In so many ways. I love it. Well, thank exactly. you so much for being here today, Tim. For anybody watching, you guys, please come on down to Mission Fest, see amazing people like Tim and the Galcom. Uh, it's international. Galcom right? Galcom international. Yeah. 
and and everything that they do. Uh, so encouraging. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. God bless.